Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet that rides with the sons of anarchy. I'm your host, Chad. I'm your host, Rob, and today we're going to be reviewing FX's The Bridge. As always, you can check us out over at Twitter, at Epic Geek Out. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Epic Geek Out, and also check out the website, www.epicgeekout.com. But let's get into a review of The Bridge. <laughs> So today we're checking out a uh, pilot for a new show on FX, which has come up as a sort of cable syndicator of like dramas, much like AMC has been mm. doing a really good job with. Uh, FX has a lot of other shows like Sons of Anarchy, Justified, uh, American Horror Story, yep. stuff like that. So we were interested to check this out. Um, it's interesting because it had a really interesting marketing uh, campaign where you weren't quite sure what the show was about. Um, a little bit more has come out since, but you know, the only thing I, I didn't know much going into it, I guess, is the, the best part to, to, mm. to describe it as. Um, it had like a very viral like market campaign where it like show an image. Which they've weird. done before for like the Americans and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's true. So I that's mean, true. you know, they, they do tend to go towards that. Yeah, yeah. So this stars uh, Diane Kruger from National Treasure. And Glorious Bastards. Yeah, yeah, she's in that too. Um, and Ted Levine, who I love. Um, Candy Cane. Yeah. His <laughs> voice is awesome. He's like the, the head guy. Um, and... It kind of follows this weird, like, uh, cross the cross borders uh, from Texas to Mexico well, it's bridge that goes. The bridge that, well, yeah, right, it's but like cross there. borders cop like mm. team thing. Mm. So like Dan Kruger is obviously the on the United States side. <laughs> uh, this Mexican uh, cop is on detective. The detective, yeah, yeah. yeah, is on the other side. They're working together, um, di differing personalities mm. to solve a serial um, murderer's case of kind of a weird thing where the person's sort of chopped in half on the border parts. Yeah. It's, I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's basically a cop mystery. And uh, yeah, so what did you think of the first episode? Yeah, so I thought this show was, you know, they're following a serial killer. I thought it was going to be more, um, you know, U.S.-Mexico relations, the cartels, yeah. things along those lines, which I thought would have been really interesting to, you know, to touch on. Um, but this show didn't hook me at all. Uh, the premise doesn't really necessarily um, mm -hmm. grab me. Um, some of the performances were, were good, but some of the characters were just terrible, and yeah. I don't understand the choice. Um, you know, the main detective, um, you know, Diane Kruger's, her character right. is um, played uh. in a way that she is just, she has no empathy, uh, no way to relate to other people, mm -hmm. things like that. And it's just so off. And I don't think it's necessarily the acting choices, but the way that they decided to do this. I mean, having a female white cop teamed up with a Mexican detective who's laid back, I think would have been good enough instead of adding these personality traits yeah. to it. And it just, it took me out of it. And it just, it, it kind of ruined the show for me. Also that it's about a serial killer, I don't care. Um, yeah. You know, they try to make some, like, thing, well, only, you know, five white women die in El Paso, and that's big news, but thousands die in Mexico, and blah, blah, blah. Like, mm -hmm. it just didn't sink anything in for me. I wanted it to be more about drugs. I didn't know that it would be an ongoing case. I think it would have been cool to deal with what this bridge saw on either side, and they did work to together and right. had a good relationship and what they each had to go through to help each other. But, you know, it was a forced... Um, you know, partnership. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, one didn't want to do it kind of thing. Um, so I just didn't really, it didn't grab me. I, I had no desire to watch another episode of it. So Yeah, and one thing I did forget to mention, it is adapted from a Scandinavian television show, uh, much like The Killing was. Uh, really? Yeah, so that's hmm. interesting. I don't, believe that that show obviously had to do with the Mexican yeah. U.S. border, but uh, it's, it's... Really big bridge. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, but, um, yeah, so that's that's interesting as well. I would love to see the similarities between yeah. the two. I agree with a lot of what you said in terms of the characters. I mean, Dan Kruger was so weird at some one point. I was like, is this going to be a twist that she's a robot? Yeah. Like, this is the future and she's a robot thing. I mean, like, that's how ridiculous it was at points where she's like, I You're feel no emotion. Like, didn't speak like... It. Well, yeah. didn't speak like a human would speak mm. either. Like, oh, I have no capacity for empathy. Like, she mm -hmm. literally said that as a line, which was just a weird thing. Yeah. Also, the the Mexican detective, who I really enjoy, I think he is the strongest character in the show, because mm -hmm. um, he is working for a corrupt police department. He's doing the best he can to sort of be, you know, do the right thing and solve these crimes mm -hmm. and not get paid off by, you know, the cartel and everything. But then he's, like, talking to his dysfunctional family and his wife <laughs> in Spanish and then just randomly decides to speak okay. English. 
you know, and, and that's fine because I get that, you know, they're trying to, you know, mm -hmm. but don't just start speaking Spanish in subtitles and then just switch yeah. it. It's just very weird. Um, I, I think that the, the, the mystery itself didn't, it really wasn't strong enough to carry this. And mm -hmm. I think that it, it didn't have the characters to, to carry the show. It needs that mystery. Um, whereas, you know, the killing, for me, I, mean, I think the characters were strong, but the mystery itself was so intriguing that that's what, kept me hooked at least for the first season. Yeah. Whereas this show, the you know, the serial killer isn't that particularly interesting. Um, I mean for me at least, and to keep me watching it is not really not really there. Mm -hmm. Also an odd like it seems super easy across the border. I mean yeah. maybe that's a statement for, yeah, you know, those know issues, that. but it was very weird how like the serial killer can pretty much just go mm -hmm. back and forth across the border whenever he, he pleases. So um, I, I don't know. It's 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 weird because I didn't really get a strong feeling for like where the show wanted to go or what it wanted to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, w w the killing is pretty obvious what it wants to be. Other shows that FX has, it's obvious what they want to be. This just had a weird identity of like, I, and I guess that's kind of the point. It's two sides well, of the coin. They're do something you know? different, but yeah. Yeah, it it's, like, succeed. it's like two different locales and, and how they work together. Yeah. So I don't know, it's interesting. It's an hour and a half pilot. So if you have a chance, it's on demand to, to check it out. It's definitely not, I think either of our cup of, no. cup of tea, but you know, it could be that if you're really into like procedural dramas and mm. crime and and like detective like Law and Order and that kind of stuff, yeah, but it could this is be for you. A story arc. I mean, it's not. A yeah, it's not. Procedural, it's not a procedural. It's definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely one arc over the mm. season. But um, if you're into that like hardcore police work, you know, show it might be for you. So yeah. check out uh, check out the bridge. Yeah, and see what he thinks. <laughs>so is that some of the episode we like to give some thanks for some geek stuff rob what's your thanks today so i got the, i got the chance on my uh, trip to italy to read a book and it's called uh, double feature and it's written by uh stephen king's son owen king which um we read uh stuff from his other son when we read lock and key right and it's the story of this um b movie actor uh like from the 80s maybe even a little earlier has a son and the son kind of grows to disdain him mm -hmm. and wants to become a director and he films this movie and it it has these cool little, you know, it, it seems so independent movie-ish, but ha it has a cool hook, but doesn't really, <laughs> it's not filmed well, kind of. Yeah. Um, they say it a part of the book. And then, you know, kind of the things that happen after that. And it's really a book about, like, redemption and acceptance and, you know, moving on after a loss in a way. And I thought it's, I think it's his first book, and it was just such a strong book that kept me captivated, and I really, really enjoyed it. So check that out. Um, it's called Double Feature. Awesome. Um, I'm going to thank, uh, I've been awful, and I've missed some shows that have been like in the mainstream that I mm -hmm. love. Um, so I caught up on two seasons of awesome shows, Breaking Bad, the first half of the last season, um, which aired like a year ago. I finally yeah. caught up on it, and the last season of Game of Thrones. Um, I did this <laughs> over the holiday, over the 4th of July, and holy crap, some crazy stuff happened <laughs> in these shows. I know I'm behind the curve. Don't spoil anything. But I'm not I, caught off on Breaking Bad. Right, so. yeah, I mean... Mm -hmm. It's crazy. There's some really funny uh, Game of Thrones uh, YouTube mashups I'll have to share yeah. with you. But um, yeah, it's it's awesome. I you newsroom know, comes back tonight. Newsroom comes as back we're filming tonight. This. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I I think that to watch these shows, like especially Game of Thrones for me, I love watching it in chunks. So I really enjoyed that. I got mm -hmm. to have that experience, you know, because I slacked off watching them week to yeah. week. Um, so it was awesome to just catch up on that stuff. Um, some awesome stuff. Except. The thing that sucks is like it's a whole season and it's a long time and like once I start watching I like that's all I think about until <laughs> I finish it. Yeah. So it's like ten hours of, of craziness <laughs> in one day. So um, check out those shows if you haven't caught them last season. They're definitely worth it. For sure. So we're we'll gonna be back next week with some more episodes for you. Thanks for watching this week as always. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you next time.